and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. Thank you for joining me on what is a very, very exciting video. I am so excited to share this with you guys. Oh my God, this has been a dream come true. I got to dive with sharks. I have a certificate to say that I dived with sharks at Blue Planet Aquarium. Oh my gosh, it was the most amazing experience it was absolutely incredible beyond words there were sharks this close to my head at one point we were all ducking down because the sharks were coming right over our head so this is at blue planet aquarium an absolutely fantastic aquarium or should i say fantastic if you ever get the chance to visit i highly recommend it they've got numerous sharks in the tank so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to cover my dive, tell you a little bit about that, show you some great footage from that, and I would like to talk a little bit about the sharks that are actually in the tank, mainly the sand tiger sharks. The largest sand tiger shark there is a female, I can't remember her name, possibly Wilma or Sundance, maybe, I honestly can't remember but uh, she is around 14 foot, so she is absolutely huge. Um, and being in the water with them is such an incredible experience. I highly recommend it to anyone. You don't need any previous scuba diving experience. They teach you everything you need to know there on site. It is absolutely amazing, like breathtaking experience. Like honestly, all the staff were so helpful. Everything was absolutely amazing and it was a brilliant day. So, yeah highly highly recommend it oh my gosh i've been so excited all week about it as soon as i got my doctor's confirmation to say that i can dive with sharks i've been dancing around the house going i get to dive with sharks i get to dive with sharks shark dive yay so i've been absolutely oh over the moon really and to actually do it and experience it was utterly fantastic um, so here's some footage from the dive. Enjoy. This is Blue Planet Aquarium in Chester, where I was going to be getting in this very tank right behind me here, which is the Caribbean Reef exhibit, which holds 4 million litres of water with over 1,500 fish and Europe's largest collection of sharks. They have a variety of species of sharks, including sand tiger sharks, also known as spotted ragged tooth sharks due to their 250 needle like teeth, zebra sharks, bamboo sharks, guitar sharks, nurse sharks and black tip reef sharks as you may have seen in one of my previous videos. As well as this they have a variety of fish including big eyed squirrel fish, crevalli jack, golden trevally and goliath groupers. They also have rays and leopard eels big shout out to Steph from Blue Planet Aquarium for taking all of the wonderful footage of me in the tank with the sharks. So here you can see a sand tiger shark swimming overhead. Did you know you are more likely to win the lottery than you are to be killed by a shark? They may sometimes take one bite and this is very rare, although they realise they don't like the taste of our blood due to it being rich in iron rather than copper. There are a variety of animals in the tank with me. As you can see here, this is the guitar shark, which are actually raised due to their gills being on the bottom. They are named guitar sharks because they look like guitars. I had never been diving before, before this experience, so all of the training that I needed was provided on site. It lasted for about four hours. There was videos, there was a quick little quiz to go through. The instructor was really, really helpful, went through everything. She was absolutely amazing. It was her first session there with us, um, my group and she was absolutely brilliant. I learned so much. Obviously, all of the safety things they go through, you have a test in the pool to see you can do the crucial skills, go through all of them, like being able to find your reg, which is the breathing equipment you can see in my mouth here. If you lose it, being able to um equalize for pressure being able to get water out of your mask things like that all of the essential things that you would need when diving so after going through all of this and when she felt it was safe for us to go into the tank 
I went ahead and went into the tank. I was probably in the water for about 30, 40 minutes, which was absolutely amazing. It went... It went really quickly, but it also time just was so strange down there. It didn't feel, I really don't know how to explain it, but it was an absolutely amazing experience. They have all of the equipment for you. You don't need anything like that. I had to have a doctor certification due to my medical issues, but as soon as that was signed off, there was nothing else I needed. They provide everything. All you need is some swimwear to wear underneath your wetsuit. So it was absolutely brilliant. And from someone who has never dived before, I can't wait to get back in the water and dive again. It was a truly, truly magnificent experience. And seeing all of the animals, as you can see here, another one of the sharks right overhead. This is a female sand tiger shark. Experience was absolutely amazing. And I even got to keep some shark teeth. So this is me just signalling that everything is okay, everything is awesome. And my instructor let me keep a shark tooth. Sharks lose their teeth continuously, some species more than others. Um, so you can see here me just receiving the shark tooth that I tucked into my sleeve of my wetsuit, which is a sand tiger shark tooth. I also got some black tip reef shark teeth and another sand tiger shark tooth this is just some footage of me giving one of the fish a sand bath they really enjoy it so you sprinkle sand above them and they really enjoy swimming through that i believe these are a type of trigger fish so you can see us there just giving sand baths to the little fishies there are about 40 species of triggerfish in the family Ballistidae. They have an oval-shaped body with a highly adapted jaw for crushing shells. They are called triggerfish because the erection of their short second dorsal spine locks into place their first spine. This can only be unlocked by depressing the second trigger spine. They vary in appearance but are largely characterised by spots and lines, although not all species have these. Although some are pelagic, meaning they live in the open ocean, most inhabit relatively shallow coastal habitats, especially coral reefs. The reef triggerfish in Hawaii is also known as Humanumanukanuka Apua A, which you may be aware is one of the songs from High School Musical 2. Just a bit of trivia for you there. So I'd like to talk a little bit about sand tiger sharks or Carcarius taurus. They are in the family Odontospididae, which there are three members of this family. They are the mackerel sharks order, which is the same order as the great white. So this is the lamniforms order. So typical identification features of lamniforms. They have no nictitating membranes, which means they have no lower eyelid. They have a pointed conical snout. Their mouth extends well behind their eyes and their last gill is before their pectoral fin base. So a little bit of biology and reproduction about the sand tiger shark or spotted ragged tooth or raggies as they are known in South Africa. Their average size is 1.8 to 2.5 metres and their max size is about 3.2 metres. They're approximately one metre large at birth, which is quite a big baby shark. So males mature around seven years at 1.9 metres and females at 10 years around 2.1 metres. And adults are expected to live over 40 years. So... Their reproduction they are ovoviviparous meaning internal egg development with live birth so the gestation period is about 9 to 12 months they also take part in something called oophagy which is egg eating so they consume undeveloped eggs to gain nutrients and they also take this a little bit too far with embryoophagy which is interuterine cannibalism so the first to develop in each uteri consumes undeveloped eggs and also developing siblings. So you have one pup in each of the uteri. This is why they get to 100 centimetres in size. So that's enough of me talking for now. So I'm going to sit back, put some music on and let you enjoy the dive. <laughs>
that was my dive with sharks. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I hope you enjoyed the dive footage and also the sharky facts that I provided. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe and to hit that bell for notifications. I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed. I'm nearly at 200 subscribers at the making of this video, so I'm really excited to hit that milestone. I have my lovely big mug of tea from Sea Life Hun Stanton, where I went recently. I have been visiting loads and loads of aquariums and zoos everywhere so hopefully there'll be some more footage of that coming soon i have so much footage to go through <laughs> so it's definitely going to keep me busy i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye for now cheers